Oh, no, this is in Los Angeles. A place called Brennan's in the Marine Del Rey. I'm hoping the story oh, finally one. metamorphosized yeah. into the same time y'all tried to beat up the hockey team. Uh, I'm hoping y'all forget they were... Oh, oh no! Combine them! Okay, let's combine them. Okay. You gotta combine them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Epic. Creative editing going on here. Okay. Okay. Do we need the sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> it was a rainy night. Yeah. <laughs> this, is my, this is my Raymond Chandler version. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to close up on this? Uh, <laughs> we were drinking. Does that help? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we had a couple of drinks. That makes it specific. Yeah. Now we're down. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, where were we before? That wasn't the time you got. No, you got arrested there. <laughs> that was another time. That was another time. That was the Kentucky Derby. Okay, <laughs> Brennan's, we. Brennan's, you got arrested and. We picked a fight with the hockey team, the LA Kings, after they lost to the Canucks. And uh, we got kicked out of the fashion case three separate times. We, we went walk to, in there three years later. Three years later, we go to that place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three years later, we go back to the place, and the guy puts Jack Daniels in the back of the house. He says, on me, guys. <laughs> so what led up to this? Oh, uh, which one? Okay, it was me, uh, Andy, and Ronnie Kinney, and uh, we were... Now, I still maintain we got a bum rap St. Patrick's night, because I don't know what we were doing that was out of line. Oh, we just... Oh, they put us in the fucking jukebox, no. yeah. <laughs> we commandeered the goddamn jukebox. They had a fat Mexican girl, family, not just girl, Mexican family in front of Kenny started making all kind of cracks. We wouldn't let anybody who came to put money in the jukebox and get the fuck out of here. Because we knew, we knew uh, Brendan's jukebox like that. And I could play it, nothing but Sinatra. You know, this is like an Italian on Irish. You know, they had all their Irish songs they wanted to play. And next thing you know, we got one for my baby, one for the road. Shit, when everybody's trying to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> You think it's easy to bum out in Irish bars? <laughs> People are walking out at five in the afternoon. Going, oh, man. So anyway, we're having a great time drinking it up, having a great time. Okay, Irish bar, St. Patrick's Day. Everybody, 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 great time. And uh, all of a sudden, this guy, the manager, comes up and says, "Hey guys, you feel like a pulling guard." It's time. We, 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 it's time to close. We're checking in. Yeah. Great. Come back again. <laughs> Be artists, come back again. Yeah. Last, Last call. Huh? Last call. Because we didn't even notice. So don't we even notice people coming in? He's greeting them. All. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. And uh, and then uh, okay, we we go and we stop off at a chicken place on the way back. Right here, fried chicken. We stop, have some time there. Good. Back to the apartment and da 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 da. Johnny's in a uh, monologue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this is on the West Coast. And we're here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're getting into it. Hey, we've been about five minutes into this month. We go, hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. These guys just like finesse this shit out of them. <laughs> This is the greatest move I ever saw in my life by a... Uh, oh, but we were uh, <laughs> I don't think we were. I think we caught a bum rap that night. That night. There was the uh, 